Hi, kids. All right. Number 40. Greatest films of all time. Modern times. Um, modern times. Every time I say or think about modern times, I get the David Bowie song, Modern Love, stuck in my head because that's how my brain works. So I'll be going through this video telling you the facts, telling you about modern times. And in my head will be church on time. Uh, anyways, eh, you're welcome for that singing, by the way. Uh, modern Times, 1936, written, directed, starring almost everything, Charlie Chaplin. So we've had a Buster Keaton on this list. Now we have a Chaplin. Do you have a preference? Is it like uh, the Beatles or the Rolling Stones? Um, so I know where my preference lies. If you watch the videos, maybe you'll figure it out. Uh, so Charlie Chaplin, also starring Paulette Goddard, um, who was in a relationship with Chaplin time. Uh, she would also be in The Great Dictator, which may or may not be on this list. You'll have to stay tuned. Uh, so, Paulette Goddard was um, Chaplin, I believe, at some point referred to her as his wife, but I think they were more common law. They weren't actually officially married. Uh, they were together from 36 to 42. Prior to that, I believe she was married. She married a young 17. Some rich guy only lasted like two years. She comes to Hollywood. She ends up in a relationship with Chaplin in modern times. Um, after her relationship with Chaplin, she ends up with another actor, uh, Burgess Meredith. Um, she's with Burgess Meredith from 1944 to 49. Uh, during this time, Burgess Meredith is blacklisted. House of Un American Activities labels him a communist or communist sympathizer. So he's mostly in stage roles during this part of his career. Uh, eventually he works back what, into TV and then people like Otto Preminger are bold enough to put him on film again. Um, Burgess Meredith. What role do you think of when you think of Burgess Meredith? Is he the Penguin in Batman? Is he um, Pops in Grumpy Old Men? Is he Mickey in Rocky? Can you think of all those, any of those, something else? Comment it in the comments. Uh, so she's with Burgess Meredith till 49. And then how do you follow up Chaplin and Burgess Meredith? Uh, she marries Eric Maria Remarque. Uh, he is the author of All Quiet on the Western Front. So she's with him from 58 to 1970. Uh, he dies in 1970. That's why the relationship ended. Maybe it didn't end. Um, anyways, so I just wanted to give you a peek of that, uh, trivia of her love life. So, uh, Modern Times, uh, started out, um, Chaplin wanted to, uh, send off, uh, his tramp character, um, because it's 1936 now, sound has been around since 1927, so almost 10 years, uh, and he didn't think, um, uh, sound the tramp talking would remove some of the mystique some of the power of the character so continue he wanted to make sound films but not with this character so it's time to retire the character so here's the big send-off on lots of gags huge all the tricks in the book um just like uh buster keaton in the general so uh for like the factory scene filmed it at 18 film or 18 frames per second it's played at 24 fr frames per second so it's sped up it's more frantic uh there's matte paintings uh there's the film just played backwards um all sorts of effects you could use in 1936 everything at their disposal almost just like the general they would use so uh chaplin had the idea for what the film is about while talking to gandhi that's right, Mahatma. Uh, so conversations with Gandhi. Gandhi did not like modern technology. Um, and Chaplin didn't fully get why. So he explores that in his film, uh, how technology could be used to exploit the workforce and things like that. Relevant films. So a lot of these films, that's why they have lasting power. Uh, the message, the themes are still relevant. Uh, maybe. Um, one day, modern times won't be relevant. It won't be modern. It won't be our times. Um, 
anyways, it is now uh, because some of the sentiments in those themes, uh, it was banned in Germany. So, how can you tell a good movie is good when Germany bans it? It's a pretty good sign. Uh, Modern Times, number 40 on this list because, well, AFI, American Film Institute, their 98 list that was named the 81st greatest films of all time. All right. And then in 2007, it was 78. Okay, but we're at number 40. Uh, so, British Film Institute also had it on its list. Uh, 2012, the critics put it at number 63. The directors put it at number 20. 2022, the critics put it at 78. And the directors at 72. So it's on AFI, it's on BFI, uh, pretty high on those lists. Uh, but it's also uh, number 47 on IMDb, your user ranked films, according to your reviews. So because it's on all of those lists is how it gets to number 40 on here. Leading myself, the more lists a film is on, the higher up it will be. And then the higher up on those lists, the higher up it will be. So that is number 40, Modern Times. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.